Hello viewers, welcome to today's class. Remember, we're still continuing with the topic, money. Okay, you walk into Safaricom shop and you buy a phone valued at 10,000 Kenyan shillings. And that phone, you stay with it for a period of one year. Then you reach a point where you need money. And that money is needed so urgently that the only option you have is to sell your phone. If you choose to sell your phone, you will not sell it at the same value you had bought it. Because the phone will either be broken or the phone will either be worn out or there are just some technicalities that will push you to sell that phone with a lower price. That is what brings us to the concept of depreciation. In short, the value of that phone has just simply depreciated. A take instance number two. When you buy a piece of land today, valued at 5 million Kenya shillings next year or the other year, you will not sell it at the same price. You will either sell it at a price more than that. And that is what brings us to the concept of appreciation. So appreciation is just simply when an item gains value. Depreciation is when the value goes down. You have so many things you interact with in your life. You can simply know which of them adds value as time go by and which one depreciates. Appreciation can be represented as the new value to be equivalent to the initial value times one plus the rate at which the value is appreciating for the period of the appreciation. And depreciation can be represented as the new value to be equivalent to the initial value multiplied by one minus the rate at which the value is depreciating or raised to the duration of depreciation. Remember, the difference between appreciation and depreciation is just a simple sign. And here it is. In appreciation, there's an addition sign. And in depreciation, there's a subtraction sign. Makes us recall the concept of compound interest. If you never watched the video on compound interest, I advise you go and watch it. Because it will be very useful. So that you can be able to interlink these two concepts. We will take a look at a sample question that deals with appreciation or depreciation where we can apply these concepts. And here is the question. I'll simply step aside so that the question can pop up on the screen. You can pause the video and go through the question one more time. I advise, write it down somewhere. The first part of the question is quite easy. It's testing on the concept of simple interest. The principal which is the money invested or borrowed times the rate which is in percentage. Remember, times the time which is the duration. This will give us the simple interest. And the amount is simply the principal added to the simple interest. Therefore, let us calculate the first part. 
which is the simple interest. And simple interest simply is 109,373 shillings times the rate which you are given here as 8% for every year times the years which that is calculated, which is two years. 17,499 and 68 cents. Therefore, this can also be written as 17,500 shillings. The amount should therefore be the principal, which is 109,373 plus the simple interest, which is 17,500. And this should therefore be equivalent to 126,873 shillings. Therefore, when Halima invests 109,373 shillings in a bank that charges an interest, a simple interest rate of 8% for every year, for the two years, the amount she will have for those two years in that simple interest will be 126,873 shillings. So let us get the value of the shares for the first year. The rate of depreciation is 4% per annum. Remember, principal is simply the amount she invested in the shares. 126,000 873 shillings and the duration of the depreciation is one year so let us get the value of the amount the amount to be equivalent to the principal times one minus the rate of depreciation power the period of depreciation therefore the amount should be the principal, which is 126,873 shillings, times 1 minus the rate of depreciation, which is 4% for this period of one year. When you key in this in the calculator, 121,798. It therefore means when you take a look at the final amount he has after one year is totally different from the amount she invested in. And this is what we call depreciation. The value went down. Now, in Roman 2 of the question, we are told that the value of the shares appreciated. So there is an appreciation here. at a rate of 6% for every four months. And the duration of appreciation was three years. Let us get the new value of the shares. Appreciation can be mathematically represented as the amount to be equivalent to the principal multiplied by one plus the rate in percentage raised to the duration of the appreciation. The rate is 6% for every four months. Let us get the rate in one year. In four months, we have 6%. Therefore, one year has 12 months. And one year should be equivalent to 12 times 6 all over 4. This is equal to 18%. That is the rate for one year. Now, we have made sure that the rate is in years because the time is also in years. Appreciation should therefore be equivalent to 121,798 times one plus the rate of appreciation, which is now 18% for every year for a period of three years. And therefore this should be equivalent to 121,798 times 1.18 raised to power 3. 200,118 shillings.
By the end of three years, the amount you will have in the shares will be 200,118 shillings. Invested 126,873. And finally, she has 200,118. Let us get how much she has gained. And therefore, that should be equivalent to 200,118 minus 126,873. 73,245. Now, in calculating the percentage gain, you will take the gain she had, which is 73,245. Divide by the amount she invested for the shares, which is here, multiplied by 100%. And that will give you the percentage gain. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any part you never understood, I advise to rewatch it again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.